Welcome to the long-awaited Fansly video. You all have been asking me over and over again to do a Fansly video, and for a while I was kind of uncertain about doing it. I didn't want to give you guys information that I didn't feel was helpful or like useful to you. If you know me, like I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna give you like my real honest opinions about something and I only want to do that if I fully have formed my opinion on it. And at the time, I had not given Fansly a full amount of attention yet. I just, I didn't use the platform um, enough for me to feel like I could give you honest feedback. But here we are. I am finally doing this. I finally decided to give Fansly um, the attention that it deserved because honestly, it's a great platform. But today I wanted to go over some of the pros to starting a fansly i personally have both i actually have multiple platforms i don't just have a fansly or just an only fans um, i have a lot so before we get into this i do want to say if you are interested in getting started on any of these platforms i do have a mentorship program it mainly goes over only fans but it also goes over social media and how to really market yourself but i will just briefly go over all the platforms that I do have. I have a Frisk, I have a Fansly, I have a FanView, I have a Friendly, and I have an OnlyFans. Those are all the platforms that I know and use. Now, let's get into Fansly. I am so excited to do this video. I feel like everyone's been asking me. Um, now, let me just start by saying, because I have both of these platforms, I do use both of them. I know that some people post different content on each. For me personally, that is just not gonna happen. I already make so much content. I try to post daily on OnlyFans. So if I had to post daily somewhere else as well, it would just be way too much for me to personally do. If you post like maybe every other day on one and and the other days on the other, um, then maybe you'd be able to manage that much content. But for me, I just post similar content on both. There are some times where I make specific content for certain platforms. I do wanna make it so that it's worth your while if you follow me on one that you can still follow me in the other. So there are some differences, but I will say as far as creating goes, it's harder for you to make completely different content for both. As you know, OnlyFans has had its little ups and downs with what type of content they're allowing on the platform. And I think that they won't be able to cut us off because we are the people making money on their platform. If sex workers weren't on the platform, OnlyFans wouldn't be thriving. And so I think they would just like, they, they have to keep us. It is nice to know that there are platforms that want us like Fansly and like Frisk that are going to allow our type of content because that's what it's mainly for. So I do recommend having, you know, not, I don't think you should spread yourself thin, but I think you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket. What I just said kind of leads me into pro number one for getting a Fansly. It is specifically made for sex workers. It's not like OnlyFans where they're trying to push just anybody. It's specifically for sex workers. They know that sexy content is gonna be on their platform. They promote that, they um, support that, and I think that in this industry, it's nice to know that the platform is supporting you in the creation that you want to make on that platform. I think that that is a pro about this platform and honestly a con about OnlyFans. And leading into that, there are more options for you as far as how you want to have your subscription page. A lot of people have two different OnlyFans pages. They'll have a free page and they'll have a subscription page. What's great about Fansly, you can have options on your page for people to follow you for free and you can have tiers, different tiers. So if you want to do a subscription for $5 and you want a subscription for $20, you have the ability to make different tiers, I think up to like three tiers, maybe four. Um, I only have two tiers on there. I have one for $10 and one for $20. And what you get is different on each one. So on the lower tier, you're able to pay per video that you wanna see. And you also get all of the photos and stuff like that. And then on the higher tier, you get all the videos unlocked for free so that you don't have to actually pay for them. And what I love about this option is it's so different from OnlyFans where on OnlyFans, I have to send out the videos. And then if you have your new on then I have to send another message with the content unlocked for you it's a lot harder to get content out to the right people at the right time whereas on Fansly it's so simple you can make a post 
and it can be locked for one tier and it can be unlocked for another tier and it's that simple it's that easy and I love having that tier system the next thing is that paywall for content so like I said you can have different tiers and you can send different messages to different tiers and you can also have a paywall on a subscription page. So what's different about that with OnlyFans is on OnlyFans, if you have a subscription to your page, you cannot put a paywall in front of a post. You can only have a pay-per-view message that's locked, but you can't actually do it on your feed. If you have a free page on OnlyFans, you can have locked posts. So they would have to pay to unlock and see that content. On Fansly, you have this option for everybody. You can make anything a locked post and it even if somebody is paying a subscription to your page and this feature is so important because even if someone has a subscription you don't want everything to be out there for free you want some stuff to be you know a premium price even if you're paying for a subscription so it's really nice that even on a subscription, you can have a paywall. I have a subscription on my OnlyFans and I send pay-per-view messages out, but when I get new subscribers, that, those messages that I've already sent are not getting to my new subscribers, so I have to resend them. Whereas on Fansly, you can just get that content up on your wall and then anytime a new subscriber comes, they're able to see that content. Let's talk about saturation and discoverability. One thing about Fansly is that it's not super saturated yet. A lot of people know what OnlyFans is, and if you do OnlyFans, a lot of people know what you're doing because it is so saturated, which is kind of a pro in one way because a lot of people already have OnlyFans, they're familiar with the platform, they trust it, but at the same time, it is super saturated. There's a lot of girls to go through, it's hard to find girls because there's no Discover page, whereas on Fansly, there is a discover page, it's not super saturated, so you can make a profile today, not even post it on any of your socials, and there is potential that somebody could see it on the discover page and find you and subscribe and make money simply off the platform without having to promote yourself. I still recommend promoting yourself because you're not gonna gain a big following unless you, ha unless you make a following for yourself on social media, but at least it's an option and because it's not so saturated, there's just so much potential there. There are a few other pros that are in beta mode right now and I'm not sure if everyone has the option, but in the future, a great and absolutely amazing thing about Fansly is that they are offering management options. One thing that has been so huge in the OnlyFans world and in sex work in general is having an agency or a management come in and do chatter, which is like the talking with your fans and managing your content going up and all of that. Fansly has the option where they don't have to have your login information or any access to your account other than what you want them to have. There is a tab for management and the options here are to have a manager's account linked to yours or they can do a session so you can make a session code and then they can come in for a session. Um, what's great about this is they don't have access to your full account. They don't have your password. They don't have your bank information that's already on your account. None of that. They can't change any of that. They can only change what you allow them to. So that is such a great thing about Fansly is they can go in and do the messaging. They can go in and do some posting, but they don't have access to your entire account. And I think that's the biggest thing why I have never worked with a management on my OnlyFans is because it is risky. Like you're giving somebody access to your entire profile to change your banking if somebody if somebody is, you know, not trustworthy. I have never worked with a management on my OnlyFans because of that. And I think now I'm more inclined to work with a management knowing that on Fansly they can just go in as a manager and they can't change everything and they can't they don't have total control of my account. So I think this is a great feature that honestly OnlyFans should think about doing because I think it could really help boost the potential that they have. And then the last thing is the streaming ability. So I personally don't stream on any of my like sex work accounts. I do stream on social media, but I don't stream on sex work accounts just because that's my boundary and everyone has their own personal boundaries. But it's a great feature if you do want to do that. 
And honestly, I would recommend it. I just don't do it. I think that streaming has great potential and on OnlyFans, it's just so impossible to do because it's so shit. It doesn't work well. And also because there's no discover page, you don't really have the ability to see when people are online or reach a new audience by streaming. But on Fansly, you have the opportunity to stream. I heard it's a lot better than OnlyFans streaming. And also because there's a discover page, you might be able to reach a lot more people by streaming there. Another thing that is kind of just superficial is I love the platform itself. I think it's really streamlined. It looks more updated. I feel like OnlyFans kind of looks like Facebook, like an out of date Facebook. Like it looks like it's Facebook circa 2012. It's so bad in my opinion, but Fansly just, the interface is so nice. It's so fresh. It looks updated. I just think the features are better on Fansly and I think visually it makes more sense. When you scroll through Fansly, you're getting the people that you're following. You're getting people who you should follow. It kind of feels more like Instagram, it's updated. So in general, I think it's easier to use. I think that's the best way to put it. And last but not least is like the vault of your content that goes up on all the platforms. So on OnlyFans, there is the option to categorize things, but it is so hard to go through your vault on OnlyFans. It's just not, like I said, the interface is just not it. And I think on Fansly, there, options for categorizing are a lot easier to use. Um, it's easier to go through and it just, it's just honestly a better platform as far as that. Wouldn't say it's the best platform for sex work because I think OnlyFans still is taking the, the crown for that. I think it is a great platform and you can make a lot of money. And like I said, don't spread yourself too thin, but don't keep all your eggs in one basket. If you have the time and ability, I would highly recommend making a Fansly as well as an OnlyFans um, and maybe do a different stuff on each. Or if you don't have the time, do the same stuff and you're gonna reach a different audience over there as well. I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna deep dive into how to set up your account or anything like that, please let me know. Um, also, if you're looking to get into the industry and you need a mentor, I do mentoring and I also do consultations. All of that is gonna be linked down below, so please hit me up for all that. I truly love helping new creators, so if that is you, please let me know. And I hope this video was helpful if you're looking into starting a Fansly. With that all being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.